Okay, so we're starting off my video. Well, the video. Um, in my, one of my bookshelves. To show you guys the new edition. To the family. This is a new shape, so I'm really excited about it. Another addition to the family. I'm super excited about. Of course, I'm trying to do this with one hand, and usually, one cannot unbox a something with one hand. But here it is, bros. Oh, I'm so excited! What? It's even better because in the picture it looked like um silver. And I was like, it's not gonna match so good here, but I guess I have that silver tray and that silver tray. I guess silver would have been nice, but I wanted it. I think it's gonna go right there. What do you guys think? Hi guys, welcome back to this channel, Creativity Incorporated. And today, my hands are warm. I'm cold. Um, today I wanted to um, bring up my game a little bit more on my corners or my aluminum um, kind of like um, decorations for a journal. So these are all made out of soda cans, so just like regular ones, just like this one. This is actually like a rock star, I think, probably. But just, I cut up these cans and I make like little tabs or like um, these, the, this one is like this. Like it goes right here to protect like when you fold it and stuff. And then uh, these are more tabs. And this one is a tab and then I put a little piece of paper inside and then I put, these are uh, soup letters, but it's like a little clip yeah sort of something like that on paper but i've made these i've made um many stuff but most of the stuff that i really enjoyed is uh corners these corners and on this book i made uh i also made a uh, like a little this is a nautical theme or traveler's theme and in here there's a little wait there's a little ship you see it so I made this out of soda, so it holds the, the ship in here. And then I'm, I've, sometimes I make my signature, um, make like a maker signature on this, because I like to sign all my journals, as you guys know. And sometimes I make them out of uh, aluminum cans. And those are in previous videos. I'm gonna try to link it up here. <laughs> and, um, oh look, this is another thing that I do. And this, you put it on paper, it looks, Actually, really, really cute, like this. Watch. Mm, if I can get it in there. See, like that. I can put out the paper, decorate that, whatever. But I've made plenty of different kinds of styles, and these are all, like I said, aluminum uh, from from uh, soda. I make little um, like mending little tabs just to decorate. I've made a. Uh, hinges these are all hinges and these are all hold like um the pages and they hold it onto my binding this is my binding technique out of so these are all made out of soda cans as well so um and this is my la latest one uh this is a journal i've made and it also has uh the soda now as you noticing they get bigger and bigger because like the bigger i make them the more I love them. I actually have, let me get another one. This ginormous thing, watch, look how big it is. And these are like four inches by four inches. So, and it also has like a, like a edge protector, I wanna call them. And then it also, it holds this, this is my scrapbook, but it holds the scrapbook together and this is the journal. But I make them to match because I made them for the same year. Um, <clears throat> So this journal also has the edge protector and then 
the the um, corner protectors these are held down with eyelids and these are just uh i think glued down and pressed down and they they stayed i mean i made this like maybe two years ago um and these i love these i've done this in uh the infinity journal uh let me see if i have it it's not by hand but it's a journal that flips forever like you can it doesn't have like a beginning or an end like in a regular book so um the, those everything i've mentioned is in my channel so if you if you're new to this channel you can find all of them at one point or another in, in my life my tutorial life <laughs> um anyway so today i wanted to make my um corners out of um brass yes that's right so i bought a this is 0.18 and this is 0.10 i mean 0 0.010 see the measurements right there wait let me see right there and right there so um as you can tell the price is not that much i mean it's still way more than a soda can which i still love my project because you know it's literally trash but I want to up my game a little bit and I've been wanting to do it in a matter of brass. So I have uh, metal cutters. I've never done it. So we're going to find out whether <laughs> whether I can do it or how it comes out. Right. Um, we're going to find this together and we're going to see if we're going to be successful or not. I have a hacksaw and then this I bought. This was at, ha at um, uh, Harbor Freight. This was, I believe, $3, something like that. But it cuts, as you can see right here, brass. So I went ahead and did a design. Now, for me to be successful equally even, I only always draw one, fold it, and then cut it. That's why you guys see only half. But then when I went and I was like, wait, it's like way bigger than I should have started with that so i went i wish i could go bigger because that's kind of what i wanted my goal but i can't so i'm stuck with this wait unless i do it this way like from this to that <gasps> that might work would i be able to fit two let's see no I cannot fit two. It's a lot of waste, like a lot of waste. I mean, I can make all these little, little things out of the leftovers, right? But we'll see. Anyway, so I'm gonna practice on the thinner one. Look how thin it seems. It feels like it's about the same as the soda can. Maybe, maybe like twice as thick. Anyways, so and the soda can, I would. I cut it and shape it with just regular scissors. Just like I actually used uh, my kids' scissors because I felt like I didn't want to ruin my scissors. But when I was done, like I felt like the whole process sharpened the scissors even more. I don't know. I'm I might be wrong about it, but um. So I did the little one. I literally traced the bottom of the frame. I mean of the brass. And I designed my design. So <clears throat> this is what folds to the other side. So in reality, wait, let me see my ruler. Okay, so once I've made my square, and this this will be available for my patrons. I'm actually gonna cut it out um, so it's equal on both sides. Trace it and then put it up on for my patrons to download. But it's easy if you wanna download it i mean make one for yourself so what i did is i traced my my size then i i am a lazy measurer so i either eyeball it or use what i have so in this case i used the edge of my ruler on both sides and now i have that then i went from the corner here to here and then here to here and then now i had these two lines right here so based on those two lines, I did this. I made my point, my, you know, my highlight points or whatever, and then my design. And so that's kind of what I'm doing. And then here, this is important because 
these are the tabs like for example um let me see okay so on this one i can show you like on this one when i fold it inside so um it has already this crease here so um if you fold it i mean if you cut it from now you'll be able to avoid all that so um i need to cut it on this side too So it's about right there okay let me tell you about why right there because here you need this edge right here when you fold it because this brass corner is going to be for a wooden cover journal so this thickness you want this thickness to be covered so it needs to be flat cut here not an angle but straight cut like this so when you fold it this way uh, let's see like that sort of anyways i i just want to because every time i do something like this i have questions as to the design or um just a lot of questions of what i just covered so if you can't download it you kind of can design your own corner based on this now I'm gonna save this one and cut it and save it just because in case you want to cut a big one like this out of a can because this one does fit in a can look see exactly like right here to right here because I only use this part like when it curved to the curve and it it covers it covers the whole can okay so uh, this one is for these little sheets I don't know if they have bigger sheets but it covers this sheets so i'm gonna do one on the bottom and i think one on the top and then whatever's left over i can do like um like one of these actually what i want to do is also a um an edge one but i want to do a bigger one than this one this one's a tiny one i don't know why i made a tiny one here i might have been because all of what i had left over or i didn't want to be like so ridiculously big but this time i want it to be big so maybe i'll just use a whole sheet for it because i really want it to be you know showstopper but we'll see i gotta draw it and design it to see if i like it big or what i can come up with so let's get dive into this i've never even opened it so we'll see um Do let's see what it do. tell you right now it might be kind of easy to work with because it feels just a little bit thicker than the soda can if I was able to cut it with um okay let's do this oh this is so cool okay so what I want to do is let's trace it let me cut this out let me trace it on a paper so I can you know get that squirt away and then let me trace it on here and i'm gonna try to cut it with this before i get into my metal cutters and then this i bought just in case i really want to get into details and this one is not allowed to do but let's try it out okay so i have traced them both of them and then i noticed the gap in the middle and i kind of hand if you can see See, kind of sort of I hand kind of hand drew it by pencil then I kind of copied that onto this then I kind of improved it once I had it on the paper then I did the folding of it and I cut it and it fits exactly like exactly it leaves me no <laughs> forever I don't know if it's good I don't know if I'm trying to be stingy or anything 
but it's exactly touching it. So this is going to be like the edge protector where I'm going to hopefully maybe do my closure or whatever. I don't know yet. But it's also going to be on the paper that is available for the patrons to download. So if you know, if you've been around this channel, you know I collect crap, like a lot of stuff. Another, another thing I collect is scissors. So I have about, I don't know, 30 different kinds of scissors. And these two scissors sim seemed very sharp and like they would do the job of cutting this. Like this one sounds really cool. Anywho, so I want to try cutting this little edge right here with different scissors, see what happens. Um, if I don't have to use this, I mean, I know that this would be sort of using like a jeweler's kind of thing. I may have to use it for the little detail. But um, if my son has a little Dremel that I would like to try first before I try this. So I think I just thought about that not too long ago and that I'd share that first. Okay, so I want to try it with this one. But this one has this, so I'm almost sure it's going to leave me that mark. But I want to try the, the strength of it. Oh, wow. Cuts it like butter, to be honest. But it did leave that texture. There we can see it. So, if this one left it, most likely this one will leave it too because it has it too. It has it less, but it still has it no matter what. You see it right there? And I don't want to do that. So, I want to try these, but these are the scissors I use all the time, and I don't want to like ruin them. But I want to try it. If it does work, then I'm going to look for other scissors. Oh, it actually cuts it really so Look at that. So, let's just use scissors, yeah? Who's down? Raise your hands. Okay, let's just do that. And then I will cut it with scissors. But I want to look for some scissors. I don't want to use this. I mean, I've never had issues with scissors going bad after this process. But, and it's not like I don't have extra, right? I have a, like 40 of them, maybe. Um, but, I don't know. I don't want to risk it, you know? Anyways, oh, that looks so good. And it does leave it a little sharp, but we can, we'll can sand it after. We have to sand it because I kind of want to take away that sheen. And so, yeah. And also, since they're thinner and smaller, I feel like they're going to tire me. Um, I want to separate the pieces first. Then I'm going to go in with detailed cutting.
Okay, so here they are all cut up. Um, I went ahead and tried with the same little nozzle that I cleaned these up with. A little design just because I felt like it looked a little flat. And so I wanted to bring some design into it. Um, I tried to see how it would look if I did all of like from here down. I kind of didn't like it, so I stopped there. I mean, this is going to fold inside, so I don't care. I want to try bring this line out even further by using this NML. This is uh, for cars, like uh, those model kits. I got this at uh, Hobby Lobby. I think they were... Uh, I think they were on clearance for like 69 cents. I don't know if that's the regular price, but I got everything. I got it on clearance. So um, what I want to do is paint it. If all this experiment doesn't look good, I could always do this. That's why I didn't do it to this one so that I can have two clean corners and just put it on the opposite end. I mean, they're identical. So I want to experiment on one. If it doesn't work out, <clears throat> I'll do it on this one and then the the edge protector i really like how it came out i do want to bring something out because look how like just flat it is so i want to bring some details out on this one <clears throat> and so i want to try this and i'm out this is um made to paint on on um <sighs> ah It paints on cars and stuff like that. So I'm assuming it's gonna be good to paint on here. There you go. I had a used one. See, I had a few of them. I had one that I had already used. I think it was this one. Yeah. Yeah, this is the one I had already used. Started. So, uh, with the brush that you, I mean, not that I don't care for this brush, but it's, it's like the 99 cent brushes, because these, this will most likely go to the trash afterwards. Just because it's uh, oil-based um, paint, so you want to be really careful with it. Okay, cross your fingers. Well, I probably should have grabbed the smaller one. You could always sand it off. Oh, it's too thin, meaning it's not mixed enough. So let's mix it up a bit more. There we go. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna paint it. Uh, not that I'm not gonna be careful, but I could always um, wipe it out right now and just leave whatever I can in the crevice. We're only testing it out, right? We should have tested on a sample, but I'm wilding crazy like that. Wait, let's test that much out. I got a napkin here. It's not really staying in there. It's coming out as I wipe it. Okay, the only other option might be that I s do it and then uh send well it does do it a little bit I think it's 
enough what it does. Um, oh, you know what I can do? Down your natural alpha male qualities completely, and I doubt you can. Be a Gary to Larry Hall. Make him feel like you're his brother, always looking out for him, never judging. All right. Well, we got a plane to catch. What? Auditions over. You got the role. Jimmy. Now. God bless you, baby. <gasps> oh. Have you seen her pre sneeze face? Have you seen her pre sneeze face? Yeah, she goes all the way back. And then. Bro, even. How is he going to be in a lane like that? What even is that position, Mom? I don't know. Is okay. So scratch that. I didn't use the paint. I took that off because it looked kind of awkward. Anyways, I want to bevel or yeah, I think that's the word. The edges. I want to round them down so that it looks uh, like three dimensional rather than just just a flat piece of um, brass. So I'm um curving the edges with these little pliers and I just go around all the edges kind of from the, the last little trim that I did towards the edge and kind of like I'm not folding it I'm kind of like you know when you do like the thing with the ribbon that's kind of what I'm doing at the end here just so it doesn't look flat and that I really like how, the, how it looks at the end and plus it takes away that sharp edge and so um, I really enjoyed doing this at the end. Okay, so for the next step, uh, I'm going to attempt to do it with one hand. But we got uh, vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and salt. I picked this coarse, coarser like salt grains because maybe of the texture. But I'm going to, I want to age this brass. And I also wanted to see if I can age these as well. Some of them, not all of them, but... Uh, it's just so I can use it. That's those. These are the way I'm thinking of attaching this to my book because I don't have a big crocodile. So I was thinking of like using them like here and here in different places to attach them to the book. Also, you know, when you fold them and stuff, bend them. So um, the way I saw it, it's made, they put vinegar and salt. But... Um, I think I was, I'm going to try napkins on top, like this, watch. Like this. Just because if I do, I feel like if I put the vinegar and salt and do this, I don't know if it's going to touch a lot and I don't want to like pour a lot. So I think I want to do this. Like this, and then put the napkin on top with the wet solution. And then maybe just throw a few of these in here. I want to make sure I have enough. I don't even know if these are like authentic brass or just painted, but uh, we'll try it out. And then I also have these little bits that I saved, like the corners that I feel like I can reuse and repurpose for like maybe like picture frame corners, like you know what I mean? So I'm saving those and I'm putting those here. Let's see, there. There. Okay, so I want to put salt like this on top of it. And I don't mind putting a lot of salt. We're playing here. The videos I saw were like not so like um, what's it called? 
saying like specific amounts. Let's see if I do it one. Let's see how that works. It says uh, to check on it like every like two hours. So I'm gonna leave it two hours. I'm doing it in the kitchen because I don't like. Ugh. I really don't like the smell. So I'm gonna leave it here for two hours. And if I feel, if I see that the salt is leaving actual texture, I'm gonna take this off, put more salt. And then put it back down. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll play by ear. But we'll come back in two hours and I'll show you what's happening in two hours. Okay? Okay. I came back two hours later. Nothing happened. So I decided to take off the napkin, face them up, and dab them every so often. I figured um, maybe that would work better because they needed the oxygen for the oxidation and stuff like that. And it did work. The next, But I did leave it for overnight and this was happening the overnight. Now it looks beautiful. But I kind of did want that brass look a little bit. So uh, by the time I rinsed it and I started bending it and shaping it to the shape I wanted it, um, a lot of it did come off, a lot of the shaping. But anyway, so, I mean, a lot of the <laughs> coloring. Um, this is me shaping. I'm grabbing a, a piece of wood. It's about the same thickness that I'm going to be using on the book or on the covers that I need these corners for. And so... Um, but it's easier for me to manage this little piece rather than the big piece because I'm planning to use these corners for a big cover. So it's more manageable for, to get a little piece. <clears throat> now, what I want to do here is measure how much I, I intended for it to fold over three quarters of an inch. So what I want to do here is center my piece of scrapbook, I mean scrap wood, and uh, make sure that I have three quarters of an inch all the way around so that I can bend that in to um, the inside of the cover. I don't know if I'm going to show, end up leaving the corner showing like on the inside cover or not. But even if, if, if I don't, um, I still would like it to, to be even. I mean, if it come, they come up pretty even, I may end up like leaving them on top of the inside cover rather than uh, under so that they would not be covered as much. But uh, pretty much I, I, I hold them on to the scrap piece of wood with these clips. And then I just go bend, bend, bend. Pretty much I was going to use those um, plier looking things that I have there for stretching canvas. But um, they didn't cover the whole length of the, of the uh, brass that I was going to bend. And I was scared of misshaping my corner. So I just did it the way I know how to do it and I know how I've done it and it it kind of works fine so I'm I'm happy how it came out and um there were as you see it was pretty easy to do same rules apply to the corner protector I mean not corner like edge protector I don't know if that's the name of them or or what would be the name of this but it kind of protects the center part of my book so I'm calling it edge protector um anyway so or guard to be edge guard yeah i could be a guard um so i'm using the same technique on this just kind of hold my instead of a scrap piece of uh paper i mean wood i'm using two rulers because it's about the same thickness that i need for um uh, for it to cover or to yeah to go over so um i'm just make sh making sure i have it even measured and pretty much is the same process just to make sure that you have the same thickness of what the material or the cover you're going to be using these on so that they they hold on it holds on you want it to be a little snug but not so snug that when you put it it looks lumpy or bumpy i decided i didn't want to keep some of that green oxidation that happened on my corners and so i'm using a little bit of spray um clear spray and it's matte i really feel like it's just the lightest little thing. It probably didn't even put that much enough for it to keep on there. 
but um you know i feel like it's kind of fun i like that color and i hope it stays some of it stays at least a little bit of it and i probably i probably plan on using that color on the book maybe i'm not sure but here how it looks i hope you guys really like this tutorial um i'm hoping to show you possibly next week how i use it so stay tuned guys for next week's episode um till next time guys stay safe stay crafty i hope you really like this tutorial if you like more i plan to play maybe with soldering or maybe with diamonds not diamonds but like stones and stuff like that on brass and if you're interested in knowing more about it leave me a comment down below or um give me a thumbs up and if if you guys if i see a lot of interest maybe i'll make a video of how i play with that i'm not even sure if it's going to come out good or not but if you guys want to want me to make a video about it um let me know down below till next time guys i love you guys stay crafting and again if you like this video consider giving it a thumbs up and or, or give me a comment if you're not subscribed please consider subscribing it helps my channel to grow a lot thank you so much guys till next time bye